guys and welcome to today's video. This is the exact video that I wish someone had given me so that I had the tips and tricks on how to lose weight and get the body I wanted without burning up all this energy and time and money and all of that stuff that's super critical to have. Uh, so anyways, I am so, so thrilled to share these tips with you guys. And Bane is so thrilled to try to ruin this video for me. <laughs> so if you're interested, then stay tuned. Tip number one is to be creepy. So I actually go on Instagram and if I find somebody that I really like their body or like their look in general, I will just message them and I'll be like, hey, I really like your body. You're doing an awesome job. What do you do? What do you eat? Like all of that stuff. And seriously, I've never been ignored once. Like everyone's always really nice and they just enjoy the compliment. And I've even messaged people that have like millions of followers. And I'm like, there's no way they're going to reply to that. And they have. So it's like so nice to see what they do. And funny story, there was a girl in the gym the other day and I really, really liked her body. She looked awesome. She was so like fit, but just like didn't look manly. I just absolutely loved it. And I said to Kyle, I'm like, did you see that girl? Like she looks so good. He's like, yeah, you should just ask her what she does. So I actually like tried to find her cause she like left the room and lucky me, she, I couldn't find her and she ended up being in the change room on my way out. And I just straight up asked her and I was like, this is gonna be the creepiest compliment ever, but I love your body. And like, she just like instantly smiled. She's like, that is so nice. She said she gets made fun of because it's like she has no chest and like she doesn't like love her stomach. But to me, like that is something I would absolutely like love looking like. So it's kind of nice to see like that everybody has insecurities. Like it's not just yourself. And anyway, she went into like a detail about like what she eats. She consumes 4,000 calories a day. She trains five hours a day. Like she goes all the time. So then I realized that, Hey, I don't want to train five hours a day. So I can't look like that. So it basically puts it in perspective. Like, do you want to work out that amount of time and eat what they eat? That puts it in perspective of like what you need to do in order to achieve what you like. So anyways, be creepy. So tip number two is to cut things out slowly. I find people just give her. They're like, let's eat healthy, let's go to the gym. All you New Year's resolution people are probably still not going to the gym or eating healthy. And that's because you just go so hard that you're gonna burn out. So what I do, and actually so does Kyle, we invest in things that are like healthier treats. So say for example, we used to love like sugar and gummies at night, like while you're watching TV. Well now we have smart sweets. So it's like low in carbs, they're naturally sweetened, so it's low in calories, which is an awesome snack. They stay within our macros, and then you don't have to feel sorry for yourself or feel like you're missing something or giving something up. So I, for example, um, am going to bring them to the airport because I know in four weeks when I go to the airport, I'm gonna see all these fun treats and all of this stuff that I can't have or shouldn't have at least. So now if I have my smart sweets, I can eat those and then feel good and feel like I'm having something fun. Tip number three is sacrifice. If you think that you are going to work full time, go to the gym, go grocery shopping, eat healthy, call your mom, have girls nights, have snacks in front of the TV, hang out with your spouse, do all of these things. You are crazy. You have to sacrifice something or you're going to burn out so hard. And trust me, I know that because I am like the burnout queen because I always do too much and then realize, wow, I can't do anything well because I'm trying to do too many things. Tip number four is a tip I actually really needed because it is stop guessing. Stop guessing what you think 40 grams of oats looks like or one cup of rice. Just stop guessing of all of these foods because you actually would be so surprised when you weigh things. You think you know what a cup of grapes looks like and then when you go to weigh it, you're like, that's it? That's all I get? Cereal. Cereal was the worst one. It, it is pretty depressing, but once you get used to it, it's nice to know that like you were probably overeating like crazy. And my favorite app to use um, is the Fitbit app. And like I have the Fitbit Versa 2, which I've talked about in several videos and I love it. And it keeps me so much more on track because this girl got out of hand with the snacks. <laughs> So my next tip is to cut down on natural sugars. That was like the most difficult one for me because I, I am a fan of the fruit. Like, oh, that is, I miss it so much. Even talking about it, I'm like, oh. But anyways, I used to have like a banana in the morning and an apple for snack and a mango at night and like all of this stuff and I had no idea 
how many carbs I was having. Like a freaking cup of mango is like 25 grams of carbs. Do you know how sad that was? And like as soon as I started implementing my food, I'm like, I cannot have this much fruit. So my second last tip is to manage your gut. So I actually started writing everything down. I would write down when I had a headache, when my skin was itchy, is my face blotchy, is my skin red? Like I would write everything down and then I started to realize like what triggered. So like obviously if you saw my video before about my gluten and like the celiac, um, I get so itchy. I break out all down the sides of my body and my legs, everything when I have gluten, even like the smallest bit. And like the more I take it out, obviously if it's in something, I like, I can't even sleep, I'm so itchy. And like yeah. you don't realize, cause I could just be like, oh, it's winter, I have dry skin. But yet it's actually food related, so you have no idea until you actually write it down. So my last tip was probably the hardest besides giving up fruit, but it was to up my protein. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I hate protein shakes. They are usually grainy and gross, and I'm just like not really a fan. But I made a habit of like basically not putting it in a blender with ice and all of this fancy stuff. Like I just give her. Like I shake it with room temperature water and just drink it because I don't want it any longer than it has to be. And I've gotten in like the habit of it. So now I actually don't mind it. Like it's I, honestly, I'm shocking myself. And plus, I um, found like a really good brand that I really like and actually Kyle got it. He got it in banana flavored and I'm in love with it and I hate banana flavor everything so that's shocking. Uh, but it has cookies and cream so that is my next purchase. Okay guys so that concludes the end of this video. I had Bane playing outside and then he started to whine so he's like I want attention which I understand because I'm the same way. So I'm gonna give him attention, make dinner, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and if you want activewear definitely shop my link because Zaya is freaking the best. I have it on right now. I don't know if I can angle it but it's so cute. These are the gray metallic leggings. Obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with all their leggings. I will never wear anything else again. So anyways, have a great night and I hope you enjoyed this video.